My name is Mark J. Dexter, also known as Marco Concorregi. Uh, even though I have this uh, uh, American stage name, I'm, I'm really from uh, Venice, Italy. Uh, and I'm the singer of Dexter World, a band made of uh, all Greek members except me, of course. We just played tonight at Young Club in Athens, uh, the first show to present our new album, Rendezvous with Destiny, the first show in Greece. So it was very important for us. And I would like to share some history of the band with you and uh, I would like to speak about what we did so far and what we hope to achieve in the next future. When the band was formed, uh, after me and Manolis left the Bad Road, happened in 2009. And uh, after some months, our uh, hunger for metal was, uh, you know, couldn't be satisfied by staying inactive. We just wanted to do something new and we wanted to stay together and play something together again. We had some songs in demo form, like uh, Antarctic Green, Double Dragon, Young Blood, all songs that finished on our first EP. Antarctic Dream. But before that, we played the Abdel Hammers Fest in Athens and we, we, had a, we had a promo CD ready. It was our first release, although unofficial, let's say. It was a complete uh, release. And we had the same songs that we had on the, on the EP, on the vinyl EP, uh, except the Go It Alone cover from Sir Tangle, one of our favorite bands, one of our main influences. And we had this, uh, this song recorded at the Abbey Hammers Fest, and then we, we decided it was good enough to put it on the EP. So this was our first promo CD and our first EP, Antarctic Dream. After we started working on, uh, on some, you know, some other songs and writing new songs and working on some older stuff, and we came up with enough songs to record our first uh, album, New Life. <laughs> Band of friends, a band of brothers, we, you know, with whom we could play and we, we could hang out together. I mean, without any tension, or any problem. We weren't in a hurry, so we just asked our good friend Akis Pastas, who we didn't know from uh, from our battle or years because he recorded our first album uh, and also uh, seven inches the guys recorded it before I, I, I joined the band. <laughs> Uh, and then we uh, we we decided uh, for the bass player we decided to ask to uh, John Simas. He, he was uh, playing bass at the time in Eric Lam, and uh, he was a very good friend of us. We, we played many shows together with Eric Lam. It was the best choice for us. After we, we had spent some time with our previous drummer, Agalos, 
we decided to, to ask Stelios Verakis to fill up uh, on drums. Uh, we knew him from, uh, from his past in Sacred Outcry, an epic metal band. We are going to, to come back soon. Uh, and that's the lineup, you know, it was Manoj Karazeris on, uh, on guitar, Atis Pastras uh, on, uh, on lead guitar, me on vocals, Johnny on bass, and Stelio on drums. <laughs> And we did our first CD, Neon Lights, that came out uh, uh, for uh, Iron on Iron Records, and we had some, uh, you know, some good reviews from that one. So, you know, we were, we were, we were very happy with what what was going on. You know, we created a bus with, with the CD. We, we could play abroad. It was very nice. And so we kept on doing live shows. And uh, also, we are we live far away because I am based in Italy, and the guys are based in Greece. So you know, we work a lot online. Uh, we exchange materials with the and stuff like that. But it's working uh, so far. It's very good. Uh, well, as a singer, as a singer, I have uh, my main influences. Also, of course, I cannot reach that level, but I mean, you have to be influenced by somebody. Uh, Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, uh, Rob Alford from Judas Priest. Then, I mean, my fa my all-time favorite singer is uh, uh, Harry Conklin from Jack Panzer. And uh, about other influences, okay, from more underground bands, but for me they are not underground, for me they are all-time heroes, okay. I, I, I love John Natis from Commander, I love uh, Blake Duncan from Amherst Group, and uh, one, of, one of my biggest influences is uh, Doug Adams from Witch Killer. Writing goes, US metal, all of US metal in general. I mean, not to the ultra fast speed technical US metal, I mean, the more uh, you know, powerful, uh, down to earth, working class US metal, and the British legends, of course, the Swiss, Iron Maiden, Manowar, Omen, Manila Road on the epic side, Siri Thunder. <laughs> First EP, White Vinyl, Antarctic Dream. Uh, memories from the recordings of this album. Well, I have no memories from the recordings because we actually didn't record it all together. I mean, we, we just exchanged files for this one, so it was not so much of a teamwork at the time. I mean, the demo was already were, was already uh, uh, done. So uh, I don't have any specific, uh, I mean, uh, 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 specific. Uh, Thing to, 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 to say about this, but I have to say that I really love this cover art, and uh, it represents uh, you know all all the, 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 the themes of the songs on the album in just one picture. So I mean I think it's really straight to the point.
Here we have uh, probably the oldest song from uh, from Dexter Ward. It is Antarctic Dream. It was written something between 1999 and 2000. Okay, this is Neon Lights our first album. I'm especially proud of this one because uh, it, you know, we, we started to grow as a band and uh, although most of the songs were already, you know, when, when they, they were done already, I mean the structure and the arrangements and everything, everybody really put their souls and their heart and souls on this and uh, the result was much more of a teamwork than I, than I had ever imagined. We, we started to both, to, to bind as a, as, as a band. We just want to celebrate the legend that is Sirit Ago. So, I know Robert Garvin is in the attendance. And I've seen Tim Baker in the attendance. And I would like to thank you guys. Thank you guys for making our dreams come true. This, this is the record that uh, so far gave us, uh, you know, uh, gave us probably uh, the, the, great, the greatest uh, satisfaction. Okay? For the new one, we will see. We love it, we think it's great, but I mean, this one is really the record that people know us for. New lights. I also, I especially uh, like the cover art. I mean, we we, we collaborated with the uh, with the artist, and uh, it came out with all the you know with all the nice details that you could expect from, for example, Summer in Time cover art, or you know the more the more complex Iron Maiden covers, lots of details. I love it. Just seven inches we did, and this is. I have a small story to, to, to tell about these seven inches. Not much about the recording itself, but the songs. Uh, it's called Stars and Stripes, and side B is a, a cover of Lord, an American band it's called Leather Queen. So, and Stars and Stripes is especially, uh, uh, you know, it's a particular for the song for us because uh, when I came here for the first time in Athens, in Greece on 2002, in March, to see Omen. Butler were opening on that night, and that's where I met all the guys, and, and how eventually I became uh, the singer of Butler after the game left. So...
Times was the first song, was the only song that I had with me actually, you know, the only, the only song in this uh, US metal style that I had. It was a homemade demo and I gave it to the guys. And on the strength of this song, the guys uh, in Butler decided to, to, to ask me to become their vocalist. So this is really special to me. And it's really special to, to be able to, to present this finally after so many years. I mean, we recorded it with Box of World. So it's uh, probably the song that I love the most, Stars and Stripes. that in my opinion marks uh, uh, a new a new phase of the, of the history of the band because uh, with this album also all the band members uh, contributed the ideas and, and everything and it, it was a real a real piece of teamwork this one and we had uh, great feedback from the album also on the strength of the live shows and I believe that the live shows uh, are the most important thing in the activity of band. I mean, records are important, but uh, it is it is very important to be able to, to deliver when you are on stage. I hope we you know we, sat, we we are able to satisfy our audience. So far, it's, it's been great. This is what we are going to do in the future: play live as much. same way of brand new with Destiny. I mean, we are trying to, to have better arrangements, better production, to work more as a band, as a tight unit. For the previous albums, I was recording vocals in Italy, and then I was sending the files to the guys, and you know, in the studio we were, uh, we were making the mix and everything. 
But this time I'm planning to come to, to Greece to be cold, so it will be even better. I, I'm sure the third album will mark uh, really, uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a much more mature phase of the history of the band. And I hope you guys will like it.